Hi guys, this is a video on running the Mac OS X operating system on a Windows PC. Um, straight off the bat to let you know that it breaks the EULA or the End User Licensing Agreement um, if you try to install it on your PC. Uh, Steve Jobs only wants people to run the OS X uh, operating system on Apple hardware and uh, by installing it on a PC you're actually breaking that rule and there are several images available on the internet that allow you to install OS X on um, a Windows PC and um, that's also piracy because you're downloading a copy of um, OS X that's not yours and not licensed to you so it's uh, quite naughty to do this now what I'll be doing is showing you um, a couple of releases that have been made on the internet I shortly be removing them it's purely for educational purposes and um, it's basically just going to show you how how it's not really worth doing it now I can't actually install it natively on my computer uh, because um, I don't have hardware um, it's not compatible basically you can see here we have some hardware compatibility uh, lists um, mine doesn't seem to work it previously worked but I did a BIOS upgrade and that ruined it and now it won't install so I can't actually show it to you however I can show you it running inside virtual machine software so I can show you it inside VMware workstation here I have Mac OS X Tiger and Mac OS X Leopard so I'll be starting those up in a second but I'll just uh, do a brief explanation of the OS X86 project because these are the people that have managed to get it running and available to other people uh, through various means. So um, the OS X project first came about when um, the Mac um, moved from moved to Intel. Basically, they start putting Intel chips inside the Mac um, computers, and that allowed um, the obviously the operating system to work with the Intel and um, OS X86 project um, realized that you could probably run it on a Windows desktop PC because it has Intel architecture as well. So if that makes sense, basically um, Mac went from Power PC to Intel and knowing that Windows um, runs on Intel, uh, they tried to put the two together and actually patch the kernel. If you don't know what a kernel is, it's basically the link between the operating system and the hardware. They basically patch that so you can run it on a desktop PC. Now again, it all depends on your hardware if you want to try and run this natively. Uh, natively basically means um, running it like Windows, you start your computer up and it will start into Apple. And um, Or you can choose to go the VMware workstation route, but I wouldn't encourage, to be honest, both because you're getting no support on the operating system. It's likely, likely that you won't be able to update the operating system. Um, but if you wish to try it out, then um, I'm not going to stop you. I have no way of stopping you. So uh, if you do, then um, there's a program that's available for Windows called CPU Z. Um, I'm just showing you this so you can see the specifications of my computer as I run this inside VMware. Um, I have an Intel Core 2 Duo E6550 running at 2.33 gigahertz, uh, dual core. And um, the main thing when you go to try and run this um, OS X86 is what most people call it, just call it OS X86. Um, it, um, you need to have SSE2 or SSE3. SSE3 is recommended and it's mostly included with new computers anyway. Um, so my memory is uh, DDR2, 2GB uh, two of RAM, uh, dual channel RAM and um, it's uh, PC25300. So um, I also have an NVIDIA 8400GS but as I'm showing you it inside VMware um, it doesn't really matter because it's using the standard adapter. So I'm just going to power on the uh, OS X Tiger release. I'm not going to show you uh, or tell you what this release is called and how to get it um, but it is available on the internet and um, to be honest I wouldn't encourage it because it's not really worth the download. It's quite a big download and Leopard's even worse. Um, as you can see I've got it paused at the moment um, that's basically because it took about three or four minutes to start and um, it's just really it's not usable but I'll show you it anyway um, so it's now starting the OS X Tiger 
Um, I'll shortly be removing these because it wasn't really worth the download just to see if it works. It may be worth um, reading through the wiki on osx86project.org because it's worth knowing that it is possible and um, knowing the various things about Mac if you're a heavy Windows user. Um, I'm actually considering switching, uh, not switching completely to Mac, but buying a Mac. Um, I haven't actually got a Mac of my own, so I would, I would like to buy a Mac, and um, hopefully I'll show you guys some things working on it. I just need the, uh, need the money, so I'll have to wait a while and save up for it. So now you can see OSX is starting, and we have a graphical interface. You notice that it's booting a lot slower than it would do on a Apple computer. Um, I would start Leopard as well, as you can see it's got a screenshot of where I turned it off. Um, I would start that as well but it will just eat up all my RAM and it just won't be usable. Now um, obviously because I'm in VMware, if I click into this computer as the, um, it may not follow the screen recorder, but let's hope so. So um, hoping that it's following it, it's following it pretty slowly. If you see down here, um, I'll let go here just to show you. Um, if you see down here, we've got my, um, well, the OS X86 or the Mac operating system dock. Um, we've got the uh, hard drive and we've got the time, which is synced with my time, and the finder and everything that is available basically on Mac as standard. Um, it's actually got a connection to the Ethernet through NAT. Um, it's got sound, but it's very, very, it's not good at all. Um, and obviously the CD-ROM and the floppy is disabled and you can't use USB so there's a lot of limitations to it um, what I'm going to do is start uh, Safari so I'm now clicking that, I'm going to let go so you can see how long it takes to load it inside uh, VMware, as you can see it's taken a, quite a long time and uh, we do have internet access on this uh, in this release what you can actually do is download um, well not download, have your own uh, OSX disk and patch it yourself and um, there's various things on the internet to allow you to patch it and um, install it inside VMware or install it on your computer um, or um, there are pre-patched which is what I'm using, pre-patched uh, VMware um, appliances or machines um, which I'm just showing you very briefly, again I'm going to remove these but um, so here is the um, Safari showing you that working if I start iTunes and remember I've got a Core 2 Duo 2.3 GHz this is only using one of them uh, one of the cores uh, I think it chucks up an error if you try and use two so um, just uh, sort of emphasizing the fact that it's not really worth trying out to be honest um, unless you really 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 are interested in buying a Mac and want to um, see what it looks like and see the applications that are included these are the applications that are included as default uh, so we've got finder, dashboard, mail uh, safari that is, I think that's iChat yes, uh, that's an instant messaging uh, address book iTunes, calendar or iCal as they call it QuickTime and the settings so it's asking me to update iTunes so uh, another thing is that you won't be able to update this because it will ruin the install so um, I'd rather not update anything. So this is OSX Tiger. Um, if I show you the uh, the dashboard, um, as you can see, even the widgets are loading fairly slowly. <laughs> we will get something eventually. It's um, I think the uh, to buy OSX it costs about ninety nine. I think it's ninety nine dollars or two hundred dollars. I'm not sure. Uh, a lot cheaper than Windows is, but obviously you need the Mac hardware to run it on. So I'm just going to power off this virtual machine now, and I'm just going to resume my Leopard installation. Um, background snapshots are enabled. Okay, that's fine. And so we are restoring the virtual machine state. I can actually use it and uh, it, I'll start Safari in this so you can see how slow this is okay so I just click Safari as you can see we've got some graphics lag already because um, obviously Leopard is the latest operating system it's a lot more demanding than uh, Tiger is we're still, we're still bouncing and with this one uh, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner there is no internet access so it will actually chuck up an error um, whoever made this didn't actually put uh, internet access on this but apparently it is possible to have internet access but um, I couldn't get it working so you can see it saying you're not connected to the internet 
but as you can see you can run Mac OS X inside VMware uh, if you try to use it in VirtualBox uh, it's not possible it is possible inside VMware and it is possible to install it on a desktop PC but I wouldn't recommend it for um, a bunch of reasons uh, mainly because it's not updatable uh, there's no support and um, you're likely if you do get found out you're likely to uh, get in a lot of trouble for it because it breaks various laws so um, that's about it really thanks for watching my video just to make you aware that it's possible to run it and obviously the other way running Windows on a Mac system is completely legal as long as you have the license but uh, the other way around and you're breaking quite a few laws so uh, thanks for watching my video please uh, comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again